Hmm. World Photography Day is just around the corner. Huh? Hey, you ready? Let's uh, do a video now. All right. Okay. So finally, we have a Marathi and a Hindi channel as well. And uh, yeah, Hindi. Yes, we're going to be soon having a Hindi channel. Hey, where are you hiding, man? <laughs> okay. All right. I don't think he can hide behind Aditya at all. Anyway, so we used to shoot our um, English content in our big studio and we have a relatively kind of permanent setup for most of the things. They are a little, you know, detailed kind of setup. And these Marathi guys and Hindi guys, so when they have to shoot uh, their videos, they go and find some corner and, and they just start shooting there. And uh, we've created lots of interesting corners and put a camera, start shoot. Um, so they actually make good use of all those nooks and corners of the studio. I mean, now the Academy, by the way, this video is sponsored by Pixel Village Creator Academy. Well, probably one of the finest places to learn photography and filmmaking from. So check out our website. So what we did was that, well, you know, we had to build this academy and now there is this Marathi channel and the Hindi channel and we wanted lots and lots of lights. And uh, obviously we can't really afford to have those expensive wheels and the SLs from, uh, SLs of course is the story of yesterday, wheel series uh, from uh, uh, Godox. Um, but as luck would have it, we got something exactly at the nick of time and well they are here now with us for especially for our uh, Marathi and uh, Hindi channel it's called the light monks sounds like a Malayali Christian name like Jomon <laughs> like light mon son of a light huh? right something like that but anyway, I think from the logo, it looks like they are meaning to say that a lighting monster. Well, monster, not because of its size. In fact, it is much more compact than the SLs. Definitely way smaller than the SLs and way smaller than the new wheels as well. Not only in terms of size, also in terms of uh, price without compromising the quality. We'll come to that later. So this is the brand new box that we got. The most interesting thing about this light, according to me, is the availability of bicolor and daylight both in, in this series. So they are called the LA150 and the LA200. D represents the daylight, of course, and bi represents the bicolor lighting. Uh, so for a long time, we did not have any uh, sort of magic in Pixel Village, various reasons, but perfect timing. Let's have some magic in Pixel Village. So here we go. Yes. A nice and compact one. Actually, the reflector comes inside the box. Okay, a nice reflector. This is the bicolor version. Maybe there is another reason why they are calling it light mons because very light monster and light monster. Anyway, very interesting name, I must say. I mean, they have used the pun very, very nicely. Uh, very light monster, obviously. Very simple, if uh, you have used an LED light, you know exactly what to do with this panel. You have an on-off uh, button, you have a power control, you have a color temperature control because this is a bicolor light, you have an FX control and of course you also have a Bluetooth connectivity, that's right. You have a Bluetooth connectivity available download the lighting app from Godox available for both Android and iOS devices and then well you go wireless so the first thing first build quality 
it's built very well but unlike the SL and the VL this is uh, not made of metal this has got plastic but very good quality this almost feels like metal but it's not metal it's plastic uh, you can see the uh, the vents and you can also see the heat sink and of course it also has a fan inside uh, fan well we will see that the fan looking at the price fan need not be exactly very silent but at the same time they say that it is pretty good for any kind of location recording it's got a nice uh, mounting uh, point and it's got a butterfly uh, knob and of course uh, a nice lever for tilting well and of course a grab handle on top all godox these days are predominantly uh, Bowen's mount and it's got an excellent uh, reflector as well and these facets inside they actually pump up I mean they improve the uh, the reflectance and the light intensity I mean I have seen people losing power of the light because of bad reflectors you know if you have a reflector which you have not kind of dusted for a while before you dust it try taking a meter reading a flash meter or light meter reading prior to cleaning and after cleaning you will see that you've gained some a few half quarter three quarter stops of light just by cleaning or just by keeping the surface clean or avoiding any dent and stuff on the reflector so reflector is not just a reflector it's an integral part of your light shaping tool and when you look at the uh, chip on board you can actually see a nice you know well demarked area one is for d daylight the other one is for your tungsten light so uh, we also have the d here okay so no magic for the d let me have the d please all right so this looks exactly the same right external appearances exactly the same all controls even the weight everything is the same except the chip on board here the entire chip on board is dedicated to white light all right which is 5500k uh, and here of course this is bicolor so it has to kind of reproduce everything from 2800 to 6500 hence you can see that array inside these lights also have great color accuracy a high CRI value of 96 plus well so that's about the light uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mount one of these lights onto a small floor stand um, and I let me kind of start it and kind of show you all right so just hold on well uh, the LA 200 the bicolor light well, both the bicolor and the daylight works entirely on uh, AC. So it's got an AC adapter, a 250 watts AC adapter and nicely goes and and it gets locked in on position and doesn't come out at all. And uh, well, unfortunately, there's no battery option available for this uh, light. I wish maybe we are asking for too much because it's a, it's a nice and compact light. Maybe uh, a battery powered version. Maybe, you know, I think it's got its space. Um, I'm going to switch this on and it comes on. Of course, I don't want to flare the camera. OK, it's come on and uh, let me dim it. So it it actually goes through 100 steps even at uh, yeah so at zero it's it's completely down and at one the first uh, digit onwards it starts uh, you know lighting up and of course goes through 99 steps to uh, reach 100. So let me show you how the uh, you know the color temperature works. I'm going to bounce uh, the light on this uh, poly board and it's going to bounce back onto my face. My camera is set to uh, daylight and let me now slowly turn okay and you will actually see the color changing on my face now this is extremely um, useful when you work in very tight kind of surfaces uh, working with practical lights for example the light above 
are yellow if these are overpowering lights you can actually fine tune look at the model you don't require a complex color temperature meter if you have it it's nice well and good but if you don't you can still look at the uh, monitor and visually almost kind of match this light and the 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 key light so you know you you will be able to nicely balance the light out even if you are not balancing you will still know what you are getting and you still will have a control on how far you want to go or not to go so from 2800 this is 2800 at uh, full power you see light on my face and i am going to now turn now this has become nice and cool right and full power you see the difference on my face these is almost all led lights worth its name has or, or you know these effects control now let me show you the effects control of this you know what an effect control right you can create lightning you can create um, campfire you can create uh, broken lamp i mean different different lights about 10 12 sets of lighting effects which otherwise would have needed complex setting and hours of uh, complex setting to achieve that uh, effect is now available on your fingertips just like that um if you are working with a d i mean in daylight uh, balanced light well all your effects will be available on daylight only right and when you are creating let's say a campfire then of course daylight is not or white light is not exactly what you need you need yellow for which you will have to add a layer of uh, gels in front and appropriate colored gel in front to create that effect in this case the system is already programmed the moment you switch the uh, light to campfire mode it automatically picks 2800 and gives you a nice warm light so take a look at it um, so i'm going to switch this on all right now and let me go to full white this is white correct you can see it on my face i'm going to switch on the uh, campfire effect it's already turned uh, yellow now i'm going to change this to another effect and at one point when the lightning effect come it will change automatically to white that's the lightning effect that's a lightning effect but the moment you go back to your campfire there you go it's it's turned to yellow so this is for me it is nice compact clever and cost effective so what more you need in case if you are looking to set up an uncompromising yet very cost effective digital content creation setup well with the introduction of the light months <laughs> uh, godox has actually taken the fight straight to the opponent's camp in fact uh, when godox became popular they became popular originally because of the price advantage that they had but soon uh it became a quality game as well and uh, lots of big brands fell by the wayside because over a period of time uh with all the new products they have also caught up with the quality game as well for example the vl the vl series are brilliant lights um uh, the light mons which i think is squarely targeted at uh, the amaran which is a uh, entry point to the aperture uh, family uh, and they have done it and done done it very well uh well what do i have to say a small uh, caution uh, the uh, 200d and the 200 by color at full power at 5600 may not give you same output because this guy has to do two jobs right take care of the uh, warm light and the bright light so at full power at white light the d will give you a stop more a stop and a half more brightness than this guy so if that one and a half stops is more important for you then the 200d is for you and uh, if uh, you want more maneuverability and don't really mind losing that one stop then the bicolor definitely any day is a better option 
Well, what else? I think it is available now. I'll add all the purchase links in the description. I think we've covered everything, right? All right. So I see you in another video. Please remember to subscribe to our Hindi and our Marathi channel as well.